Hi everybody, Patrick here from EngineeringShark.com, PaintballProps.com, and ElectronicLessons.com. Uh, I wanted to introduce a prototype. This is the first uh, escape room exclusive prop that I've designed, and excuse me, this is uh, just it's in prototyping phase. I'm not done with the uh, the software, and I still want to change it around a little bit based on some feedback that I get from some uh, escape room customers. Uh, but what this is is in its early design stage is a uh, essentially a, uh, a nuclear fallout shelter game prop and what we've got here is a main control board which has a siren output which you can use or you can use the relay to open and close uh, uh, an electric magnetic, uh, electromagnetic door lock. Uh, you've got your audio output because this unit talks to you, you plug into your own audio amplifier using the included stereo connector. You've got a blue countdown timer, you can set it to 30 minutes, 45 minutes, or 60 minutes using this jump, the, the set of jumpers down here. And this is the wiring panel. So essentially the, the way the game works, uh, or uh, the way I'm envisioning it is, you start off in a room and uh, the room has been contaminated with nuclear waste. And you've got 30, 45, or 60 minutes to figure out how to essentially rewire the door lock so that you can escape the room. And of course the unit talks to you in a uh, a British female voice to make it creepy and kind of funny at the same time. Uh, as you can see on the panel, I'll show you a close-up of the panel in a second. On the left side you've got A, B, C, and D, or A, B, C, D, and E. And on the right you've got 1, 2, 3, or 4, and 5. The idea would be that once the game starts, the escape room host um, creates clues and puzzles around the room that will give the player the opportunity to find out which connections need to be made to unlock the door. So you'd connect the right side, or sorry, the left side to the right side using female to female wire connectors. And it actually talks to you and it tells you when a connection's been made. So if you do a puzzle and it says B3, you'd connect B to 3 and it will say connection detected. So you have to come up with five different puzzles. Uh, by default, the combination is A1, B2, C3, uh, D4, E5, just for prototyping purposes. Uh, I'll make that puzzle, I'll make the combination a little bit more difficult uh, as the default puzzle. Um, secondly, I'll make it so that you can program in your own different combination with relative ease. Without ado, let's have a quick look at each of the boards, very quick, and we'll give a demonstration. If you want to use a siren to indicate the end of the game, you can plug in the included siren into this audio port and place two two-pin jumpers over these two connectors right here. They're both labeled S-EN for siren enable. However, if you don't want to use the siren enable, you make sure that those jumpers or these two-pin headers are empty. You don't have the siren populated and you can use the relay. And the relay is a high-powered switch that can allow for you to switch on an electromagnetic door lock or just an, electric uh, an electrical door lock, whatever you'd like. On the right, we've got our a stereo or audio output and we plug that into our own audio amplifier so you can use a Bose player, you can use a stereo system, whatever you want. Um, and of course all the connections are already made for you. This is the blue countdown timer and the control push button that blinks when you're supposed to push it. We'll get to that in a minute but again depending on which setting you have on the main board this when the game starts this countdown timer will start counting down from 30 minutes, 45 minutes, or 60 minutes. It's very simple and it looks great. Uh, it may not look great in, uh, but from the camera, but the camera doesn't pick up uh, pick up the beauty of the uh, the blue color as well as the human eye does. So let's now look at the the the, uh, the wiring panel. As you can see, I've made the uh, panel that says uh, it's labeled SRXX-05 sign or signal connector panel. Big letters A through E one through five, there's a connector on the bottom that connects in a ribbon to the main board. Um, so again you have to make, you have to find the connections uh, and the connections are made from left to right not up and down. So I'd use included uh, female to female wire connectors to merely plug in the connections. It's that easy. Looks really nice. Everything has mounting holes, every single uh, every single portion of this device. Uh, the button also has uh, mounting, but if you want to mount it using the, uh, the little uh, lock nut here, you'll have to desolder because um, I can't really sell it to you um, with the connector on it. 
uh, because I wouldn't be able to test it properly. So you'd have to desolder and resolder once you've mounted it properly. Also, one thing I wanted to mention was the um, key-based power connector. Power's off, power's on. Power's off, power's on. So we'll turn it in power off position. I'll plug it in and I will connect to the uh, my uh, computer speaker. Now before I start the demonstration, I just wanted to mention this again, that I, I have to change some of the audio bytes. Uh, I have, initially I designed this uh, so that you were in a room and you're going to be locked in because there's nuclear fallout detected, which would indicate a nuclear bomb has gone off. So if you go outside, you're kind of screwed anyway. Um, but now I want to change it because I want you to feel like you've escaped a room, you've escaped nuclear contamination and have arrived uh, at safety. Whereas in in my initial design, which you'll see in a minute, uh, you escape out into a nuclear wasteland. So again, the audio bytes the programming is not done. I want to revamp this so it's perfect for an escape room. Uh, I was just dinking around and my initial idea didn't pan out. So, but at least this gives you the idea. I'm going to finish this in about two weeks and I'll have it up for sale at paintballprops.engineeringshock.com. So let me plug it in. I've got it now plugged in the audio output connected to my computer speakers. And what I'll do now is I will use the key to apply power. And sorry, in the back you'll see the button starts flashing, and that means game starts. So I'm going to press the button. Nuclear fallout detected. Complete lockdown in effect. Contamination in 30 minutes. Repeating. Contamination in 30 minutes. Have a nice day. So as you can see, the countdown timer is counting down from 29 minutes, or 30 minutes. We're at 29 minutes and 48 seconds. So, uh, the, the um, escape room uh, owners create puzzles and ways to find out the five different connections that are needed. Again, in this case, it's just as simple as A to 1, B to 2, C to 3, D to 4, and E to 5. Uh, you can make connections and disconnect them if you'd like. But once you've made all five connections, there's no going back. You have to press the button, and the system will determine if you've made the right connection or not. So I'm going to connect A to 1, and you'll, you'll hear the uh, computer, the processor board, respond. New connection detected. New connection detected. Now if I remove that, and I make the connection again. New connection detected. So you can remove, but once you put that fifth connection on, there's no going back. You have to press that button and determine, uh, and it, the system will determine if you're right or wrong. If you are wrong, you have to remove all connections before you can remake connections. I'll, I'll show you that. What I'll do is I'll make the wrong connections here. I'm going to put B to 3. New connection detected. I'm going to put C to 2. New connection detected. D to 4. New connection detected. And E to 5. New connection detected. At which point the button will blink. Now, I don't, if I have the, again, the audio bytes need to be changed, the game needs to be changed a little bit, it might be a little bit confusing. Uh, I'm going to get it sorted out, but I need to get some feedback from escape room owners. So anyway, I'll press the button. Connections invalid. Remove connections. So, connections invalid, remove connections. It'll keep saying that. Remove connections. It'll keep saying that even if I remove uh, one connection. Remove connections. It'll just keep saying it until all of them are disconnected. Remove connections. Remove connections. And then it will stop. Once it's stopped, we make the right connections. New connection detected. Now once this is done, I wanted to say uh, something along the lines of lockdown averted, have a nice New day. New connection detected. Have a nice day or something like that. Uh, I forget what I have exactly right now because I'm just starting this up again. I'm just starting the... New connection detected. Designing up again. I've been away for a little while. New connection detected. So let's just see what happens when we put the right connections in. 
New connection detected. Lockdown deactivated. Enjoy the nuclear wasteland. Take care. Okay, so that's what it says right now. I'm going to change that around a little bit. So, nuclear, uh, lockdown uh, deactivated. Enjoy the nuclear wasteland. So I designed it so the door opens and now you're free to go off into the world where you would eventually die anyway, which isn't very, you know, very fulfilling considering you've just beaten the game. You can hear the relay switch on. So the relay is switched on. The door has opened and you, you press the button to put the system into sleep mode. But as you can see, the timer has stopped running. So I'll press the button. Uh, as soon as I press the button, you listen for the relay. It'll click off. Relay clicked off. Now we wait a short uh, and now we're back in start game mode again. So I'm going to remove all the connections. Um, I'm going to select a different time. And we're going to start the game over again. So I'm going to power it up again in 45 minute mode. Nuclear fallout detected. Complete lockdown in effect. Contamination in. 45 minutes. Repeating. Contamination in 45 minutes. Have a nice day. So now it's counting down for 45 minutes. The The difficulty of this game comes is completely up to the game master. I just design and sell the electronics. They mount it and make it their own. Uh, you can make it so that there's an extra puzzle. Finding the key to a panel that opens up exposing this little wiring panel, uh, making puzzles to find the wire connections, connections, uh, the difficulty of the puzzles. Um, what this set will come with is the countdown timer connected to the main board, the button connected to the main board, the wiring panel connected to the main board, the main board itself, all fully functional and tested with the power key connected, one set of key, uh, two keys. There will also be an AC to DC adapter for power. Um, and lastly, there will be two jumpers and a very loud siren in case you want to use a loud siren instead of the relay to open the doors. And if you have elect electromagnetic door locks, uh, I can help with directions on how to wire those up to the high powered relay. Uh, it's that simple. So I'm going to move ahead and I'm going to, uh, I'm going to show you what happens if time runs out. So we're at 57 seconds, just to reiterate a few things before time runs out. This unit comes with the processor board, connected to the processor board, a timer, countdown timer, a button, a wiring panel, a key power switch, uh, an AC adapter not seen here, but an AC adapter that allows for you to power the whole set, uh, a siren, two jumpers for the siren enable, uh, and the, the difficulty of this game lies in, uh, in the hands of the game master because uh, they decide uh, the puzzles, the uh, difficulty of the puzzles. Uh, you can even add, place the, uh, the panel within a, a mountable box with a lock on it so that the key to open the panel is a whole other puzzle on its own. So this game is all about puzzles. I create the electronics. The game masters create the difficulty of the game. Now, uh, you're going to hear something funny when the time runs out. I'll explain it afterwards. Just watch the operation here. Connection rerouted. Connection rerouted. Connection rerouted. Connection rerouted. Connection rerouted. Have a nice day. So it says connection rerouted. It's going to say game over or uh, lockdown, lockdown, lockdown. It'll say something five times, but uh, I don't have that audio bite yet, so I just need to add that in. So after a while, you know, the game is over, the lock didn't go off, the game master has to come in from the outside manually opening the door lock saying, sorry guys, you lost the game, at which point, uh, the, the, uh, after a certain amount of time, the button will start flashing and you press it, and that essentially resets the system. So, again, it starts flashing again to start the game again. So, it will say something different. I've got, uh, what I really have to do is finish up, uh, uh, when the time runs out, and change the audio byte, change the behavior a little bit, and I have to add in a uh, a custom pre uh, programming sequence for the if, if you want to make up your own uh, panel code. So like A three C one B five uh, and such. And I'm going to use I'm going to use this extra jumper right here to um, to make a programming sequence. It won't be difficult. When I'm done this, I'm going to make a real video. That's excuse me. It'll act as a real video manual. Uh, so I still have a bit to do, it won't take long, but I'm hoping that if you own a, an escape room, or if you're looking to 
owner an escape room or if you know a friend who owns an escape room then perhaps you'll think about sharing the video or creating some discussion or just email uh, email me at through paintballprops.com or engineeringshock.com uh, I just really wanted to show this off maybe get some feedback from some uh, escape room owners so uh, I'll have this up for sale in about in about two weeks two to three weeks and uh, again, it comes with a wet, whole ton of hardware. Everything's tested. Everything's connected. Uh, you can disconnect things for mounting purposes and, and plug it back in. Uh, it's that simple. So thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. I know it's been a long video, but I hope you've enjoyed it. Uh, have a great night, everyone, or day, wherever you are.